All right. This is kind of a big one, right? So, um, so Killer Instincts, uh, we've known for a little bit, but um, we're working on this big balance update. Uh, minus 10 characters in the game. So all these other characters got uh, updates, nerfs, uh, debuffs, buffs, whatever you want to call it. Um, and so now, uh, not only with that, but we actually got essentially what is called the Killer Instinct Anniversary Update, 10 years, Anniversary Edition. Um, and that's what I'm going to be covering today. Even the logos changed, they've gone to the to the gold logo representing Killer Instinct Gold from the N64. And I just want to say, if you guys own this game, you crank that volume up. You get that volume up and this soundtrack, and we don't get it a lot to a degree um, with some of the modern fighting games. Uh, just this, just this pumping, just just gets you in the mood for wanting to jump in and fight and that's exactly what uh, Killer Instinct does. Um, the soundtrack is obviously still on point but what they've also done too is they've, they've tightened up a lot of, of, the, um, of the menus and everything like that in terms of graphics. Everything is now really crisp, beautiful looking like the, the text is clear, like super duper clear um, the character models, from what I understand, they everything's sort of like been upscaled or at least made so that way when you're running it on modern consoles uh, or on PC, which is where I'm playing this one, uh, you actually have access to it. So you've got the store that like everything's like as far as like menu layouts and everything, it's all still there. Um, but what they've done too, especially with the Steam version, is that they've created a free to play version, and that free to play version allows you to jump in at no cost. There's a rotating character every week now. Uh, the first one is Idol. And you get to jump in and just give the game a try and uh, see how you feel, which is pretty cool. So uh, first and foremost, uh, let's have a look at the character select screen because it is really good, right? Now there's a big XP boost, so you can obviously take advantage of that. The music alone just in the character select screen is so good, right? Let me just, uh, I'll just move this up out of the way just for the moment, right? So you guys can have a good proper look. So they've upscaled or at least like tightened up all the actual character avatars that they have available. Like we'll actually click on each character. Now in case anyone doesn't know about Color Instinct, you've obviously got the, the sort of like the modern versions, like the, you know, like how they look obviously, you know, created in the modern day but then you've also got the retro costumes as well which is pretty cool so we'll just quickly go through so you guys get to see how they look some of them some of those retro costumes man that don't look so good I think Glacius is still pretty good regardless of who you choose good old Chief Thunder uh, that was one of my close friends favorite from back in the day right Chief Thunder's a beast man right we've got Shadow Jago and we got some new characters like Sidira that have come in. Of course, the old, the old favorite, right? Go old Orchid. Everyone loves Orchid, man. I don't know why. There's a couple of big reasons. Anyway, like just even like modernizing, like how um how Fulgor looks looks amazing, given like how he came from the classic look, right? And of course, some of the new characters are also given uh, a classic costume as if. If they were made for back then, how would they look? Right, which is groovy. Right, and it's got the ring chick. <laughs> it's got a couple of her actually in this game. Right, we got uh, we got Killer Instinct version of like Treebeard. So, so yeah, they've and it's a massive roster. What are we at? What was it? Is it twenty? I think is it what twenty nine characters total? Now, I did do a video on this talking about the Anniversary Edition coming out. I didn't realize it was coming out this fast. So if you already own this game, you're actually able to like download the update for it and it will update the game uh, to that. Maya, was Maya and Tusk were introduced in Killer Instinct 2. In Killer Instinct 2, I think we, I think we lost TJ Combo and Cinder. Didn't we? Was it TJ Combo and Cinder and maybe Chief Thunder? I'd have to check. 
uh, in favor of Maya and Tusk, uh, and maybe somebody else. So, um, but yeah, Kim Wu's another new. I, I think Kim Wu's new, or is she from? She might have been from Killing. I don't know. I have to go check anyway. Right. It's the only downside of Killer Instinct 2 that I didn't like. I, I because I love characters like Cinder. I thought, oh man, it'd be so good. Of course, this bastard got a nerf finally. Right. He's all happy still. But they really sort of fixed him up. Because that's the thing though, like this game has sort of been in, in uh, you know, isolation for a number of years with these, with these, some of these broken mechanics still left in the game on certain characters. So it was actually good to actually get an update uh, for this. So, now I'm not the best at Killer Instincts, but as I said in my other video, Killer Instinct was like the side chick for a Mortal Kombat fan. Right, because it was all like metal-like and, and stuff like that. It was very, very cool. And I love that, right? And then we got Eagle, which was the last character they added, but had received the least amount of sort of like nerfs and buffs or whatever. So they really sort of, you know, picked him up. So let's just jump in. We'll jump in with the old favorite, right? Uh, we'll put him against maybe Orchid, so you get to see her on the screen. So, and of course you got all these different colors that you can unlock as well. All these different colors, and then you got different skins. So you got a Mimic skin, Shadow skin, and a Gold skin as well. So a lot of customization, and you can actually go in, and I'll show you soon. Um, you can actually go in and customize every character's gear pieces, right? So you might be able to take, change their top half, bottom half, maybe something on a head like Orchid. And you can do that for the retro costumes as well. So immediately when I loaded this game up, I could tell, yep, you know, the, the aliasing has been improved. You know, even though like they haven't remodeled the models, right, from the game, you can tell though that they've, they, it's been upscaled uh, or, or whatever they've done to it. Um, it looks great, right? So they've done a really good job uh, at this. Now, in case anyone doesn't know either about like Killer Instincts, um, it's a game that's obviously from the 90s. Uh, they got reimagined for the Xbox One, and um, they did an absolutely wonderful job. Now, if you're not used to doing how to do the combos in the game, uh, they've got an easy mode, so it just makes it a lot, you know, a lot more newcomer friendly, which is fine. That's really good. Good for me, anyway, because like it's nuts, right? Um, but you can also break the combos as well. So you've got your standard block, which is simply just holding back, right? Um, if you miss on the combo breaker, so if you don't get the combo breaker correct, it actually, um, it, it, like, it sort of, like, you know, locks you out briefly uh, while I still wail on you. And you can see, like, the, 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 like, sort of, like, the timer close in on the X. So, which is pretty cool, right? So yeah, so you can break any combo, you've just got to get the right, like you've got to get the right button press, either the two lights, the two mediums, or the two heavies, depending on what they're doing. So I haven't fully sussed it out yet, if any Killer Instinct fans are out there, and they can give me some tips on like, how do you visually know what sort of combo to try and, you know, uh, like what sort of dip, uh, strength you're trying to break, that'd be pretty cool. And of course it's just like the old sort of fighting games that we used to get back in the day, they all have like their own special moves. It's just that they got their own, um, you know, they also got this massive combo system, which we haven't, which we never saw in a fighting game back then. So it really set itself apart. It also had um, stage fatalities as well that you can do. So certain stages, uh, I don't know how many stages in this game actually have it, uh, but you've actually got stage fatalities uh, available as well, which is really cool. I don't, I don't think. Do they have? Do they have their, um, they don't, they didn't have fatalities, so it was pretty much, I don't think they had fatalities back then, did they? Anyway, I'll see if I can, I'll see if I can do the finisher. So the finisher is essentially like this, uh, like a, remember the, um, if anyone played Mortal Kombat Trilogy, right? The brutalities where you got to press certain buttons and then it goes into this automatic string and it just like annihilates them. That's what this is like, right? So... Here we go. Did I do it? No. I didn't do it yet. Hang on. Didn't do it. We'll keep trying. Runs flawless, except 
when I first loaded it up, now I'm running um, a 4090 um, and also a um, an i13 19 was it 1390 13900k right. I have noticed um, some slight loading. So I noticed like accessing certain characters, um, I wouldn't get, like it is sort of taking a little pause to load up. I don't know if it's sort of like, you know, loading all the cache, like getting all the cache ready, because I'm not having so many issues then. You could see there, there was a little bit of a pause when I was like at the end of the match, loading back in. Um, the issue about the, um, there we go. I love the black outfit on her. She's awesome, right? Um, the issue about connecting to the Ultratex or whatever they're called uh, servers is all gone now. It loads up super fast. So anyone that was wondering about that, it's gone. I played one online match so far against the guy playing TJ Combo. That was cool. Uh, got beat. It's all good, man. It's just fun, man. It's so good. And it makes me really question, are they going to start adding new characters back? It seems very interesting that they would do this now, right? Now, I just noticed on their Twitter too, Iron Galaxy were after like sort of new recruits for the team. So you have to wonder, are they making a Killer Instinct 2? Or are they going to take this game and make it so that um, the they make it so that the, uh, um, what do you call it? The... Uh, game gets upgraded it might upgrade the graphics and then add new characters in who knows they've just done such a wonderful job uh, with this of course if you already own the game physically as in price wise um, let me come here there we go combo breaker right um, then it automatically gets upgraded if you already owned it obviously if it's free to play version no and of course if you check out my other video they did retire certain versions of the game as well right so, but it's, it's just, it looks amazing, dude. It looks so good, right? It looks so good, right? It's so much fun, like. No, no, I'm gonna have some people, oh, I thought you didn't like, I didn't say I didn't like combos, man, right? I just like making sure that there are defensive measures in the game, right? Now, let's see if I can do her ultra. What's her ultra? Uh, here we go. All right. See if I can do it. Here we go. That's so badass, man. I was watching this documentary about Killer Instinct. Right, and they said that in the arcade they actually made it louder so when you walked into the arcade right you'd actually like you'd hear it you'd be like ultra combo and you're like what the hell is that right and so they were actually trying to try to get you so these are all like that you can get like you can unlock all these skins obviously with killer instinct uh currency that you can see at the top right uh and or shadow points Right, depending on if it's for the Shadow Point skin, right, which is pretty cool. Right. And they look amazing. They do look very, very cool. There's a lot of content in this game to work towards. Um, I think some of it might be a bit of a grind though. Uh, I know the um, the Shadow Lords campaign, like the sort of like their their on it, it's a single player mode, but you can also do it online as well. Um, whereby you you choose a team, you go through and you fight different characters. Uh, and then like the omen shows up and you've got to destroy the omen because uh, each omen has a piece of Gargos that you've got to destroy and then he eventually comes and you defeat him uh, and that allows you to unlock the astral plane uh, stage in the game. So if you wanted to say for example customize Orchid, right, you come in, you choose say default costume, you've got like up to six slots that you can choose and then if you've unlocked the pieces, right, you can change like her actual like physical weapons uh, you can change different headpieces as well, which is cool, right? Except for the, I don't like those ones. But right? you can change the leg pieces, which is nice, right? So there's only a little bit of customization, but it's enough. And then the colors here, like, uh, in case you're, you're clicking on it going, oh, it's not saving the color. No, you choose the color once you've chosen your character. It just means that you get to see what 
you get you get to see what your character with the other changes has done look like with these colors available attached to it which is pretty cool right and you could do that like for for the retro costume uh as well all right so you get to come in right it's less pieces because obviously um it's a retro costume so there's not like there's less detail um but yeah you can change your headband you can put a hat on her right you can put that whatever change your weapon okay change the legs and then of course the color you got the different colors as well which is cool right so that's that's not too bad considering for the retro costumes that's pretty good right so i like that they've got that customization in there um just quickly checking out all the different modes um so you've got your shadow lords i'll just show you that quickly right so you can actually do it online um or you can play it offline where you assemble essentially a new team and then you've got i'll just i'll just quickly do it All right so we'll add him in there we'll throw in orchid as well uh mirror uh let's go right and then this is how this is how it looks right so i'll just skip that so i don't spoil it and then you got this world thing you can see there that um uh you can go check out your barracks for artifacts and healing your team because if your team member dies you got to resurrect them all that sort of stuff there's actually it's kind of like a yeah i guess it's like a story hybrid rpg mode if you will um and if you play it on like a higher difficulty or godlike that's how you unlock um the astral plane stage by defeating gargos at the end of, of it which is pretty cool so it's a nice little game mode um, that allows you to, yeah, just, I mean, it's just something else outside of the normal fighting stuff. So, and this is how it looks. So you'll get like these different things, like events that will happen on the world. Um, it tells you the rewards that you'll get, tells you the difficulty. <clears throat> and then you can like choose your fighter that you want to use to go do it, right? Uh, or you can end the turn, you press Y and then what that does <clears throat> is it makes more events spawn, right? So that way it's like, oh, I can't be bothered. I'm not going to fight any of them. I just want to like, yeah, see what's going to happen in the next day or the next turn, if you will. So that's pretty cool, right? It's not too bad. Obviously, like, um, you got your standard fare when it comes to, uh, like, your fighting, right? You got a CPU versus CPU mode, which is great. Your survival mode. Okay, you got a story mode as well which is awesome so you got season one and season two which is cool all right uh then you got a player versus player nice now i'm assuming somewhere where's my there is a practice mode is there not unless it's under multiplayer menu you can fight human opponent i'll show you that in a sec too all right Maybe there is it. Oh, I must be challenging our opponents. Oh, here we go. It must be under here. Okay, there we go. Yep, there's your master. So individual lessons under the dojo. You can just practice. Obviously, you've got combo breaker training. So it gets you used to doing it, right? Which is probably what I should be doing. I, I got a fair idea, but like, yeah, I, I, I think I'm still missing something in regards uh, to that. So it feels really cool, though, when you do actually break a combo. Uh, and then you got multiplayer. So let's check this out, right? So you got your local play for offline, of course. You got exhibition matches, uh, so casual. You got your ranked. You got your Shadow Lords multiplayer. So that's when you've made your team and you've got your consumables. And then it's also uh, a lobby mode. So that's pretty cool. Now the casual modes, right? The casual modes are cross-play. Okay. If it's a ranked mode, it's only ranked within the Steam network. All right. So, um, let's see if I can, let's see if there's any lobbies. Let's see what we got. All right. Because I just, I want to show you all this stuff, you know, just to be, you know, so you can see in case anyone is brand new or they've been starting to hear about the fuss about Killer Instinct because, because of the, um, the anniversary edition. Ah, uh, there we go. All right. So there is, there's a lobby there. Nice. Excellent. Cool. I don't know what their ping's like. Oh, okay. We're, oh, okay. We're going straight into a fight. All right, okay, okay, all right. I'm not ready for this, man. You're gonna see me actually get my ass whooped, right? Where's uh, where's the skin I want? Uh, yeah, maybe that one. 
Here we go. I think they're still choosing. Unless they're just, they're just waiting out. Now you can see, I'm on Steam, they're on Xbox. Okay? So I'm actually fighting an Xbox player. So, let's, let's, uh, let's see how we go, man. Right? Alright. Here we go. I'm gonna get my ass whooped, dude. I'm gonna get my ass handed to me, right? Yep, it's all over for me already. I can feel it. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's it. You can even do like air fireball, which is nice. Right. Well, a little bit of lag. Right, you can see a little bit of slow down there. There we go. I'm scaring him. Hopefully. <laughs> Jesus, man. This is what I mean. Like, I, I don't care if I win or lose uh, when it comes to fighting games, as long as it feels like I got a chance. Do you know what I mean? Like, as, if I understand the systems, then I'm, I'm good. Oh, he's going nuts on me. Right. Oh, there we go. Lock it. Eh, eh, come on, man. Come on. There we go, zone him. <laughs> oh. No, no. I, I, I could be losing it for the review. Yeah, I've got, I've got to like figure out the combo breaker timing and like figure out which one it is man oh there we go All right oh that's it come on scare him there we go he did the combo breaker nicely job dude there we go Oh! Hey! He's probably like, he's probably like new to it too, so I'm just lucky. I fought people like back when I was like first got this on Steam. And um, oh yeah man, I got, yeah I got my ass handed to me man. Got my ass handed to me, right? So that's pretty cool, like the fact that you've got like, so the ranked mode like I said is stuck within the Steam community exhibition or obviously you know lobby mode is outside of that so that's really cool i'm assuming too it's not just going to be xbox players it's also going to be um uh windows like windows central players so people that have actually bought it on the windows store as well uh that you'll actually be able to um to fight against so we'll go uh we'll do one more match go spinal Love these skins, man. Oh, look at that. He's on fire. Go random. This music goes way hard, dude. You know what I mean? Goes way hard. It's so good. They all have their little intro as well, which is nice. Not bad considering this game came out ten years ago, hey. Oh, I haven't used spinal for a while. Oh, oh solo combo. I don't know what I'm doing, man. I'm just hitting buttons. Right, but it's fun. So yeah, if you own this game already, it'll be automatically updated to the anniversary edition. There is a free-to-play model, like I said. 
And, um, and yeah. Oh, that's my throw. You can do throws, they're on, on both lights, by the way. There we go. So this, you should hear this music, it's like metal. Like, I'll see if I can, yeah, what's his ultra? See if I can do his ultra. Maybe. He's, he's very heavy. Oh no! Oh, here we go! Did I do it? Yep! Listen to this! Dude, that's so badass, man. Oh my god, that's so badass. That laugh that Spinal does, he had back in the day. And it's so iconic. It's even in one of the, the soundtrack songs too. You can also purchase the Killer Instinct soundtrack on the Steam page as well. Uh, so I'll post a link in the description for the Steam page um, for Killer Instinct. Um, but yeah, that's my coverage of the anniversary edition for this game. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.